What's blood relation, Dante? Man, you trying to get too deep for me. It's the Noble Truth Project, man. <laughs> What's up, what's up? Hey. This is Beyond the hey. Brand with Dante Carter, and today coming in, we have my man Ian Elmore. More with uh, Noble Truth Noble Project. Truth Project, man. Noble, Noble, Noble Truth. Truth Project, if you're not following, please, please, you know, may you follow. I follow back at Noble Truth Project, N O B L E T R U T H P R O J E C T. That brother came out already. I'm sorry, yeah, I was trying man. to set up this dag on. Um, man, it's good to see you, man. Good, good to, to be with you, man. Congratulations. I was to get my life going. Man, it, while you do that, man, congratulations on everything that's it, beyond man. the brand. Um, I appreciate it, brother. This brother, appreciate man, it. I know this brother for about a year, year and a half, and he's just been grinding, man. I've been watching him. He's been inspiring me, and that's what No Truth is all about inspiring. I've seen City with his uh, hits, 92.3. Man, just. Yeah. You know, you know man, working, man. It's, 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 it's really about building out these platforms you know right now man we in a day and age where you don't always um what you lack in capital right you can create in an in internet because there's so much there's so much digital real estate out there you can yeah. literally create your space i mean in the physical world yeah. you ain't gonna find much real estate that you can work with for free but did on that digital Ooh. side it's it's endless bro it's influence endless. Impact equals income, man. Yeah. You get influence. Yeah. And then if you have a great influence, man, you need to create a significant impact. Yeah. And when you do both, your income will follow, man. So I always tell this is the year that I've been saying this all year. Yeah. Either you sell yourself or you sell yourself short. Like this is yeah. the this is the generation with the social media, the internet. I didn't start I didn't start my Instagram, I didn't start Facebook till this year, 2019. And I realized I was doing so many great things, but I, you know, I was being humble, modest, and it, it, it's not that I'm not that anymore. Mm -hmm. It's just that let your light shine. Yeah. If, if you want to be successful, you're going to have to sacrifice. You're going to have to yeah. be vulnerable. You're going to have to sell yourself, okay? If you're not selling yourself, if you're not posting, if you're not marketing, if you're not right going to that tutoring session, if you're not in professional development, there's so many ways to better yourself. If you're not selling yourself in this Constantly. day and age, yeah. you're selling yourself short. Yeah. And it has you're to be you're doing yourself a yeah. disservice. And it has to be a constant. You know what I'm saying? Constant, constant. sales. In this day constant. and age, man, it's like the information moves so fast constant. that the minute you stop, what happens? You get passed up. And I mean, because there, there are guys, influencers that I see, and I'll look out sometime and I'm like, man, the content is trash. It's so trash. But the thing every is, it's every day consistent. Persistence. Yeah. Napoleon Hill, man, Think and Grow Rich. I, I'm dropping and Think and Grow More um, mm. by the end of the year. It, it's a, you know, it's an online study community looking at the book Think and Grow Rich. And persistence yeah. is like, it's a key principle to success. Perseverance, yeah. persistence, consistency, dedication. Right? These are all attributes to people who are successful. But listen, listen, I'm not here to talk about the people who are successful because there's so many millions of people who are not, who yeah. haven't un discovered their noble truth. Yeah. Um, so I want to say that even if you had a business, it didn't go well. Yeah. Okay? Because I had a business and it didn't mm -hmm. go well. Right? I, I mean, I had several businesses that didn't go as planned. Yeah. Um, it didn't stop me from creating the next one. Yeah. You know? And so don't let, if you're not posting, okay, you can start today. It doesn't mean you're not a poster. It doesn't mean your business is not successful. That just means you just haven't hit that switch. Once you get this Noble Truth at Noble Truth Project, I'm telling you, you get that light switch, you can start today. That's what's great about us. Yeah. Every day's brand new. It's about being mindful, being present, about right here, right now. Yeah. And you know, man, I, I remember like when when I had you know started posting about launching the show, really wanted yeah. to tell some powerful stories, and I remember the discussion that we had. And I remember getting excited because, like, before you had even launched the Noble Truth Project, you were just such a powerful force of positivity in the DA's office. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. And, uh, you know, for people that don't understand, I mean, it's a yeah. tough environment to work in yeah, yeah. because you're, you're dealing with the crime. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're dealing with all the negativity of the city, 
in one building and you're looking at it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Yeah. And so to walk in here and and talk about initiatives that you want to do with the kids and, and create and change in the community, that's huge. And I mean, now you've got an opportunity to do it on a much larger scale. And so, I mean, just give us a little background. What got you into it? What made you say, you know what, I want to I want to do Noble Truth Project. I want to come out here and I want to be a force for good. Absolutely. Honestly, because I've been a blessed individual. Yeah. Um, I'm coming from North New Jersey, single parent household, um, a lot of different traumatic experiences for myself. And I realized that um, I've just been blessed, been fortunate to get the right type of education to just not get caught by the police. Honestly, yeah. stuff I was doing, I could have got caught and yeah. I would have a whole different script. Yeah, most the opportunity to go to Morehouse, you know, just pledge Omega Sci Fi. There's so many things. Marry my beautiful wife. There's so many <laughs> things that took place that helped guide me. Yeah. Um, and I realized I got to give back. You got to tithe. I realized my whole life has been about tithing. Either my time, my talent, or, or my token, right? Yeah. So um, I just realized I had to do it on a bigger scale. I, I had a mentoring program. I loved it. But that was the day-to-day -day grind work. Mm -hmm. I was the classroom teacher. You know, that's the day-to-day -day grind work. All of my classroom teachers enjoy your summer vacation, well-deserved. Yeah. You know, and I said, I can't. Sometimes when you help other people, you forget to help yourself. Yeah. So that's why I said sell yourself and sell yourself short. I'm doing coaching, life coaching, because I realize it's not just the kids that need adults. I do professional development, consulting for companies. Because mm -hmm. companies need organizations, right? Some people have worked for terrible organizations. The only reason they left is because of the culture. Yeah. And nothing to do with the salary. Yeah. You know, so hopping into that lane, that industry, can produce a lot more capital in which I can continue to do the work. Yeah. I just tell people I took a break from the mentoring and things of that nature. I want to get enough capital to be like a Steve Harvey, Tyler Perry. Just let me just do a whole school. You know, it's private, but everybody's in for free. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we got enough capital to put together the real work that yeah. needs to happen. Because otherwise, you're playing with pennies. Yeah. I've done grant writing. I've done the federal government. You got to do all these reports. You're playing with pennies, though. Yeah. Why not get that half a million dollars yourself yeah. to donate it back? You know? And that's, that's <laughs> one of the things that, you know, for me, I kind of get so frustrated about. Because, like, you know, you think about it, right? You go to church, and what they say? Tie. And we we'll do a special, a special contribution for this project. We want to take care of the community. But you start to realize that the best churches that do best are the ones that what? They've got business owners, CEOs, CFOs, guys who are high earners who can say, okay, I want to give X amount of dollars to this initiative and taking care of the community. Because that's what forced me to take a step back. Because it's like I'm giving, I'm giving to you, I'm giving out of what I don't have to provide for somebody else, but what am I, what else am I taking away from? Like I understand community, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I grew up in a situation where as tough as things were for us, like my mom was still taking folks in, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I, and I Bless saw you. that and I'm like, man, how do you give out of your, your nothing, your emptiness, you know what I'm saying? But my mother always found ways of taking care of people, you know what I'm saying? And I can, I can look around and I can look down my timeline of people that she helped that are in such a better shape Absolutely. than, than wow. where they started. And wow. so I understand that importance of giving back. But back to your point, though, yeah. it's like, but we got to change the game in terms of capital. Because, yeah. I mean, when you look at the communities that are being taken care of, you know what I'm saying? It's a balance of both, though. Yeah. It really is. And it's just about leadership, yeah. understanding. It's about, it, it, it boils down to real, real good leadership because good leadership just puts people in the right places. Yeah. Some people cannot give their tokens, but yeah. they can give their time, they can give their talent. So in a, in a, as, this is why we do leadership development, leadership coaching, executive mm -hmm. coaching, um, consulting, business management consulting, because yeah. you can use all, what everybody can give can be used to do great things, but you can't undervalue somebody because they don't come with the tokens, and you can't overvalue somebody just because they come with the tokens. It's about living in that peace and harmony, that balance, yeah. right? I'm all about being mindful, be mindful that it, it's a soul. Yeah. <laughs> it, you so, know, it's so a soul, you know, it's an invaluable thing. I feel like, especially when it comes to being in the black community, it kind of takes a lot of things a little longer before it catches on with us. You know, going to therapy, um, the concept of mindfulness. I'm not saying okay. that there are okay. people that pick up on it, yeah. but as a whole, it seems like there's it, it, it just it comes along slowly but surely. And so 
what what are the benefits of that? You know, because like for me, there was a wrestle because, you know, I'll even use therapy, for instance. Right. It's like, you know, you need it. But grandma's like, just pray it away. And so, I mean, there's we're, we're reaching this level of education and really getting deep and talking about these things. And people hear the term mindfulness, but we talk about mindfulness and what it provides. Let's let's get into yeah. it. Yeah. So, twofold, right? I'm mm-hmm. not a therapist. I, I do life. I do coaching, executive yeah. coaching. Um, I'm not clinically trained to give anybody some type of medicine or anything like that. And I think that that too is it's like it's okay to have a mentor. I think sometimes, and in, in our communities, we lack mentorship, which yeah. leads us being like, okay, we need some type of therapy. But you might just need a coach. You might just yeah. need a guy. You might just need a mentor. Somebody who can just talk. You can talk to. Yeah. And they talk back. And it, it has no bias attached to it, right? It has no yeah. malice attached to it. Um, and I think that is what Noble Truth Project provides. Uh, I, I believe we always did this. Yeah. I think social media, sometimes technology might have took us away from this. We're, 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 we are people of coming together in community, yeah. of talking, of meeting on a corner by the bus stop, just talking, sitting on the porch, just talking, right? Like, yeah. that was it. But nowadays, right, I went outside and I played basketball. I rolled my bike. I hung out with friends. And I seen people who were just on the corner just talking, who's the best basketball player, things of that nature. Today, we're not really getting a lot of that. A lot of that is happening digitally. So, right, it lacks the communication. And I think that's important um, to have somebody to communicate to. Um, I I did yoga. To answer your last point, man, about how do you get people kind of into the spirituality or the mindfulness component. Yeah. Um, I started off doing yoga in DJJ facilities, Department of Juvenile Justice, mm-hmm. or Juvenile Courts as well around the metro Atlanta area. And like, how do I get these young brothers to hop on this mat and do some yoga? Yeah. <laughs> they looking like, man, you doing yoga? Like, nah, dog, like I'm not doing that. So number one, I had to build a relationship and rapport with them. But um, I understood where they were coming from because I came from a similar place. Yeah. I said, how many of y'all smoke? Mm. I said, how many of y'all smoke? Yeah, no, <laughs> um, but we already, some of them are already DJs or some of them are in juvenile court. And I'm not on that. I don't care about that. Yeah. Um, and I said, what you're really doing is inhaling and exhaling. So act like you had, like, get, mm. take a pencil out or use like a... See, you don't need it. Yeah. You don't really need it. You, you, you might be addicted to the breathing. Yeah. The breathing pattern. So everybody, you know, puff on this three, four times. And they would, they, the whole room would be busting out laughing, but they would do it. Yeah. They would do it. And then they realized, like, yeah, man, I kind of calmed down. I felt a lot, you know, a little bit better. So you take baby steps through it. I'm not going to tell everybody to sit down and do a 15 minute meditation. It's so long for me to get to that point. I'm, I'm instructing, I invested a lot of money, I'm certified. Yeah. So I, the best thing you can do is sit down and breathe. Yeah. The best thing you can do is look at At Noble True Project, because I'm going to put you in the right direction about Thich Nhat Hanh, yeah. or James Allen, or Napoleon Hill, or John Maxwell. You ha- it's, a, it's an individual journey. Yeah. It really is, but it's great to have a coach to go along with you on yeah. that journey to success. Um, so yeah, that's how I got got kind of started with uh, the mindfulness component. I had to graduate from Morehouse College. Didn't have any PE credits, man. I, I was lacking PE credits. <laughs> Spelman was giving out two credits. Wow. So I you went over there and took, some, took yoga. And I was like, hey, why not? You know, you know, it was like a 201 though. Yeah. So it was like intense. They were moving fast. So I was like, I had to keep up because none of the girls would really associate with me because I'm looking like a creep over here yeah. in this yoga class so I had to get with the program and I got with the program yeah. and I learned it and they put me onto the movie The Secret mm. there's just so much they made me create a vision board for the class yeah. and that just unlocked the door from that wow. I just wanted to expose you to that and that's what started the Nova True Project the mentoring program yeah. that's powerful yeah but you know, I mean, but you know, that's the information I'm talking about. You know, because I mean, I use the analogy of therapy, but it's not always therapy. To your point, it is having those folks to talk to, but it is, um, and it's also that um, that part about yoga, because there's also still, I think, to some extent, there's still a stigma associated with yoga. You know what I'm there saying? There is, and so I mean, you have to be comfortable with who you are. Yeah, that's what I started realizing as I, you know, this is like my last year in college. I already pledged. Uh, you know, I've done some type of events around campus. My self-esteem was really high. My yeah. confidence in myself was really high. And I didn't let other people 
deter me from that. Like yeah. I, I'm so focused. I don't you know, I'm I'm so I'm vulnerable. Like I don't I don't mind showing who I am yeah. and standing proud in that. Um if you're interested in yoga, this Saturday, mm. this Saturday, July the twentieth, um, ten AM 1536 Ralph David Abernathy. Um, I'm doing yoga class for men, women, young people, anybody. Uh, you want more information at Noble True Project on NobleTrueProject.com. Um, and I take baby steps with my classes. I'm not in a major stoop. We're not going crazy, y'all. But, you know, you get a little sweat, a little workout, but it's just an introduction. I feel the need to just introduce people to yoga and mindfulness because it has a powerful, yeah. it's had a powerful effect on my life. And I know... Um, more people who experience it will, will do the same. So yeah. they what? got on the mat too because I was a black man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they they was like, oh okay, he looked like me. Yeah. So quick question though, um, what do you want people to take away from yoga? What 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 are you hoping that you know by taking your class? Wow. That, that Many them... multiple things, man. Great question. Number one is that they're in control mm. of their own body. Mm and their own energy. Yeah. That's like, that's number one. Through meditation, you're gonna realize that. Um, just through the movements, you're gonna realize that. I tell people just wiggle your, 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 your ring finger or something, or wiggle your thumb. You realize like I can control the smallest muscles as well as the largest muscles. Like look how powerful I am as a human being. And look at this energy that I have inside of me. Um, yes, it's gonna speed up your heart rate. So there's a health benefit to it as well. And then lastly, the visualization. Mm -hmm. The meditation, when I guide people into a visualization, you have to see your future. Yeah. You really do. Like, like if you go to the gym, I see people in the gym all the time, and they just working out, working out. They look exactly the same six months later. You know, no, no shit. No, hey, 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 hey. I just I'm know talking some of to you. you yeah. At Noble Truth Project. If that is you, at Noble Truth Project. Like, because your mind has to be associated with your movement. So many yeah. times we're moving, but... We're not being mindful of what we're doing, so we don't get the full benefit of it. So the visualization is a part where we're closing our eyes, we're letting go of our five senses, and we start to see what we want. We start to see our desires, we start to see um, our goals. You have to see your goal in order to achieve your goal. If you don't have any type of vision, you don't have any blueprint, you don't have any map, right? And so you don't know where you're going. Um, so visu visualizing meditation is important, probably to me the number one aspect, you know, along with the breathing that you can get from coming to my classes, you will realize, you know, you should start to see something of what you want to manifest. Mm -hmm. You have to see your goal. Yeah. It will not come. You can, if you don't see that six pack abs, if you don't see your muscles getting bigger, I promise you, you're going to the gym is a wasted time mm. until those two things come together, until your mind matches your motive, right? Yeah. It, it, it's a powerful thing. You yeah. saw this. That's why we're here. Yeah. You saw me sitting here at the studio. Down. If something popped into your mind, it could have been a split, but then you acted upon it. Yeah. So yoga is just a tool because it just allows you to realize that you can see, you can visualize, you can imagine anything. Well, I... I let me tell you what I saw, because it's so funny, because like, I, I sat down with, with a friend of mine, and he said, you know, what you're attempting to do... What you're, you're doing. You're not even well, attempting. What I'm, what I'm doing. Word power, yeah. man. My you're right. You're yeah. right. Yeah. But what you're doing, the only, the, only the only other platform that's doing it, and doing it at a big level, is, is Breakfast Club. And so what I told him is, but because of all the commercials... They have bought in. They're still kind of limited on who they can talk to because they have to. They have to um, retain a certain number of viewers. Whereas me, I'm building the audience. Yeah. You know. And so as I'm building the audience, I'm allowing the audience to see who I am based upon who comes on the show. And so I'm looking at okay, who are the people that are bringing change into the city of Atlanta? Who are the people that are creating something and who are going to be influencers in the future? Because I, I I know that you're going to be there. You know what I'm saying? Thank I can, you, I can see that. Yeah, I can see you. that. And so for me, it's why not? Because I'm, I mean, the news, it's like the news, they might see a need to have you on if there's the agenda. Yeah. Whatever it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so, Absolutely. and it's going to be so short. Dirty, you know? Dirty South Yoga Fest coming <laughs> up. I know you guys might need, might need me. Yeah. But you know, it's, it's, it's going to be so short. 
Yeah. But now it's like, okay, we've got an opportunity to really talk about things. Like for me, I really want to know, man, how has your life changed since you launched the Noble Truth Project? Because we talk a lot about man. self, you know. So man. how has your life changed? Um, it has just got more focus. Mm -hmm. Like I see now, you know, what I'm capable of. I just got a glimpse of more of what I'm capable of doing. It's yeah. an amazing thing when you sell yourself when you do put yourself out there because you operate in faith so your faith is always stronger uh, when you do things like that um, I just encourage anybody you can do all things man we're, we're human beings we're not animals meaning that there was somebody who looked up at the sky one day and saw a bird flying and they mm -hmm. said man physically I can't do that okay but we are gifted mentally where we can imagine, visualize, right, mm -hmm. and create, manifest, right, an airplane, and we're flying. We're not only flying, we're flying to the moon, right? We're flying longer and further than any natural bird in the world. Yeah. So when you know that type of, when you have that type of knowledge and that type of understanding, it forces you to, to do an application, to apply that. That's all, you know, Noble Truth is really about. It's like you can do all things as soon as you discover that noble truth yeah. for yourself, for yourself, man. And it's, um, who was I listening to? Um, it was a, a, a pastor, Miles Monroe, and uh, man, he's passed RIP. I mean, but I mean, I was, I was listening to him and he said that, um, he was talking about our design and how God designed us. Mm -hmm. And he said, God is our manufacturer, is not gonna create a, pro uh, a product that's gonna fail. He said, so he signed off on you. <laughs> and he said, so therefore, yeah. whatever he put in you to visualize and imagine yeah. and you going create, deep, man. You're going deep, man. You know, Woo. and I was sitting back. We actually, we actually stop a lot of the blessings that we want by, yeah. you know, not being mindful of it. Yeah. By saying words like, I'm going to try to do this. Or, you know, just in, just look at that word, try. Yeah. If, I, if, right, if I had a student and they, they we're playing basketball, right, I'm a basketball coach. Mr. Mama try to make this free throw. Mm. Subconsciously, right? He's already missed the shot. Yeah. Because of his tone of voice, because of his word choice, because of what he believes about himself. So yeah. this is really it, coaching, okay? Mentorship, okay? Yeah. Professional development, personal development. You know, yes, it's an investment, but it's necessary. Yeah. Because a lot of this that we don't like in our life, we actually, we, we create it. Yeah. In some form or fashion, we're in control. Like I said, you can move your, your, your thumb by itself. So you're in control. You, yeah. I mean, your environment, yes, da, 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 but there's millions of people who came from your environment. And did. I know you got a story. I know, I know, but what can you do right now yeah. to change it? Because you today is a brand new day. You can change. Yeah. You can really change your life if you want to. It's a you and you deal. Um, and I think a lot of times people give themselves excuses. And, and a lot of the times they're ignorant to understand their subconscious mind. Understand words I try. I understand you know, how deep it yeah. can be that you're holding yourself back. Or you're surrounding yourself with people that you don't have to be around. Yeah. And they're holding you back. You so know? let me ask you this. What's what's one story, one headline? Cause I'm and I'm I'm thinking of this from this this part that you're talking about. You know that we hold ourselves back. Yeah. What's what's a story that you looked at? You know, whether sports or whatever, where you were like, that's a great example of a person who held themselves accountable so that they could reach their goals. And what's another one where you're like, man, you know, this person didn't hold themselves accountable to the point of achieving their goals. Wow, deep question, man. Deep question. Whoever I bring up, you know, no ill will, no malice intended. Yeah. I want to go somewhat deep, but I want to make sure everybody can get it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. The person that I believe uh, used all their energy and things to, to manifest what they wanted. Um, I'm going to switch. This. Man, I'm going to go hard. Okay. 
Dang, go ahead. Viewers might not like me, man. <laughs> um, but I love you. I just read the book, The Art of the Deal, Dante. Mm. And I just thought to myself, you know, socially, all that stuff, economic, da da da, but he has really manifested a lot of his dreams. Mm -hmm. You know, ill willed or not, you know, the Grand Hyatt changed. The Trump Plaza exists. There's Trump casinos. Like, he's, he is, you know, president of the United States of America. Like, to me, like, dang. Yeah. Like, if you want to talk about, even if you did get him, there's a lot of people that got million dollar loans. Yeah. But uh, I guess persistence, I guess determination. And, that, and that's the thing, too. We have to have balance. So we have to have people who can do these things, too, but do it in a good way. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a, right? Uh, Joker, Batman, like, no, don't take anything away from the Joker. Joker is, you know, yeah, smart individual. Like, he's a successful individual in terms of robbery. But in order to combat that, you need more Batman. You need more, you know, yeah. crime fighters. Harvey Dent well, before he got, you know, Two Face. But uh, so for me, him, I just read that book, Art of the Deal, because I was tired of looking at the media. I had to get my own noble truth about who this guy was, and I read that old biography book. You know, didn't change my mind. Didn't change my mind, but it made me realize like he's been this way yeah. and he has in this way has been successful and reading comparing that book to as a man think of comparing that book to thinking Grow rich you know to a lot of personal development books i was just like wow well, wow. You, know, well you know i think i think what you're what i'm hearing right what you're alluding to is that there's more than one way to get to that oh, end goal absolutely you know and i think <laughs> i think people yeah. people get so focused yeah. on they're just being one way and there's yeah. there's not yeah and it's you know, that was one conversation that I've, I've even had my business consultant. Yeah. Like, he was just like, man, like, so what do you think about Trump's mm. policies? Mm. And I'm like, you know, it's, it's such a, I hear the rhetoric, and sometimes the rhetoric can prevent me from, from looking at the results. Like, look at, you know, let me think, somebody like J. Cole, somebody like the Migos. Yeah. I mean... It, it goes to that notion of the same thing. Like, it doesn't, whatever you have a burning desire to do. Yeah. And you operate positively in your own, in your own subconscious mind. You block out all the other noise around you, right? That's why the meditation, visualization is important. That's why you need to come to the yoga Saturday at Noble Truth Project. Make sure y'all come because I'm talking yeah. real things. People might deem it negative and positive. That's all in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. You need both in order to exist in this world. The world yeah. has balance. It has a negative and a positive. My goal is peace. Peace yeah. is not positive. It's like zero. Yeah. Zero is a powerful number. Multiply anything by zero, it is zero. It's peace. Yeah. Right? So there are people who are operating. You might not like what they do, but they are highly successful. Yeah. Most and definitely. there are other people who are better lyrically or get whatever industry. But... Right? They don't do whatever it takes. Yeah. How you will gather this information, understand this information, and what in your life have you been through that is causing you not to apply this information? I think a lot of people know what they need to do to yeah. be successful. I think the, the issue lies is, right, in doing it. Yeah. The application piece. Yeah. So that's where the coaching kind of comes into play to, to, to get that out, that, uh, that you can do it. Um, there's no... I wish I could have like a step-by-step -step guideline, and I kind of do, I kind of do, but I feel more comfortable if you get me an At Noble Truth Project or if you call 929-358-5185, like, so we can, if that's a burning question for you, because that's a great question, that's a question that's really piercing through your ears right now, go ahead and make the call, go ahead and make the email, it's not going to hurt, because that's what I'm talking about, that's the application piece. Yeah. When you receive that spiritual, that, ooh, act on it. Yeah. Like, that's, that's literally what we're talking about. Yeah. So, that's, take the first step. Whatever that first step is for you, you know what it is. You know the first step that you need to do. Do it. If not, get a coach and let a coach know what it is so y'all can do it together. You might need, and then once you get to a point in your life where you, that's when you need another, you need a coach. Yeah. You're going to hit that wall eventually. If you're hitting that wall right now, in the beginning, come on. Come on, at Noble Truth Project. Yeah. What impact do you want to leave on the world? I want to shift minds and change lives. Shifting minds, changing lives. Um, we've been talking about 
income a lot and money a lot. No, I just want to shift minds and change lives. I know through shifting minds and changing lives, in this form and fashion, right, how I'm doing it through mindfulness and leadership development, I know it's going to be positive. Mm -hmm. I know it's going to change a lot of people's lives uh, because a lot of people have been trapped into thinking of how to think. Not necessarily what to think. They've been getting what to think lately, too, now. Yeah. But uh, how to think and who you are and where you are. Like, I want people to realize who they are. I want people to discover their noble truth. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about physically, mentally, and spiritually. Who you are. I'm not talking about your name. I have a name. I'm not talking about my demographics. I'm talking about me as a spiritual being. I am the divine. Yeah. You know, my parents, right? had, you know, intercourse a lot, but they only had two children. Yeah. So, you know, that's a, that's, a, that's a powerful understanding, but it means nothing if I'm not applying that type of knowledge. Um, shifting minds, changing lives is the main impact. I know if I change a million people's lives, I'll be a millionaire. Yeah. If I change a billion people's lives, I'll be a billionaire. Uh, I want to let people know that, you know, there's this formula. Yeah. There's a formula to manifest anything you want to manifest. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's powerful because, I mean, even when you go back to, to your parents, right, and you think about how many, how many sperm are racing to that egg, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm Like, it's like, man, what we got? What is it? Like, seriously, I, I, it's I don't know. It's man. Do we yeah. got to stop acting like we know everything. We don't. Some things are just mystical. Yeah. <laughs> Spiritual. And it's great when we live in harmony with that. Yeah. We're not in control. We can be in control up to a certain point and then at a certain point faith has to kick in. But when you live in harmony with that, when you're at peace with that, yeah. you're good, yeah. I think. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Shift the minds, changing lives, man. Know, understand, apply. Right? Uh you can do anything. You know, for, for the folks who see Right, it's so easy to, to believe in what you can do and in your own abilities. How do you explain to them the faith element, being in harmony with the spirit, like you said? You gotta act on it. You got I do things like I write in a journal, okay? Um, I do things like I listen, to, I, I, I put myself in that space. I listen to Think and Grow Rich, or I read Think and Grow Rich. I put myself in a place of self-development. Mm -hmm. I'm a student of self-development. I'm not just out here teaching people self-development. I didn't, get schooled in it myself. I've yeah. been schooled in this and I've been applying it for a long time and I'm finally applying it to a coaching and consulting business. Yeah. Um, it, it's a whole, it's a process, but you create your own process, your own curriculum through coaching. We're going to come up with our own curriculum to how you get to that certain point in your life. I was just sick and tired. You got to be sick and tired mm -hmm. at something. You got to have a burning desire. In order for this to work, it's a you and you deal. Yeah. You got to be sick and tired of how things are going for you. You got to want to do something about it. It has to be a desire and it has to be a burning desire. Napoleon Hill says it has to be an all consuming obsession. Yeah. You know, there's certain things you're going to have to do, there's certain things you're going to have to sacrifice in order to get to what you desire, what yeah. you want. Yeah, man. It's just, it's I'm just, I'm just so, far, I just believe in you. Yeah. Whoever's listening right now, I believe in you. I believe in you. I truly do. I believe in me. And that doesn't mean I don't have to believe in you because I believe in me. I believe in me and I believe in you. I want you to know that. I want you to know that you can have, have, be, and obtain, right? Anything you want in this physical world. This is nothing. We are, we are so high yeah. in terms of power that having physical things is nothing. It, it really is. Um, I want people to understand who we are and where we are. Who we are, we have a subconscious and a conscious mind, right? We're physical, mental, spiritual beings. We have four yeah. different brains, a reptilian, a mammalian, a neocortex, a prefrontal lobe. We have five physical senses, right? Seeing, hearing, tasting, uh, smelling, um, and touching, or, yeah, and touching. Um, we have six intellectual faculties, right? Imagination, intuition, uh, will, reason. Then, right, we have seven universal laws, gestation, Gender, cause and effect, yeah. right? Mentalism, like you got to know who you are and where you are. <laughs> and once you know that and you understand that, 
a, a light should click on and it should make you realize like, oh wow, no, I really, everything I'm thinking I can do, I really can do and this is the reason why. Yeah. You've been programmed so much, we gotta deprogram you. We gotta deprogram almost everything you believe to be true. Yeah. That, you gotta discover your own noble truth. The more people that believe in you, right, the more your, your dream will come true. My truth is to be a, a coach, a speaker, right, a consultant. I believe that. Now, can I make you believe that? If you believe that, that's one more person. How many more people will believe that will, it will shift to becoming true? There's no real, like, truth. There's no real truth. You know, these are just names. These yeah. are just man-made things. The truth is the truth. Yeah. Only one real truth, you know? So taking that truth and giving that truth, that same energy of that real truth, right, and getting people along that journey with you yeah. to believe in you, the Most more definitely. people to believe in you, the more it becomes true. If I said that, you know, beyond the brand, it is. I'm not even going to say beyond the brand is the best show on Monday, 2 to 3, that you're going to find on any radio station. Any of them. Forget internet, any radio station. I believe that. So Dante believes that, and now I believe that. Now my wife believes that. That's three people who believe in that. The more people believe in it, the more it will become true. Yeah. The truth lies in the majority. The truth lies in the opinions, the mindset. This is a mental world we live in. The truth lies in the majority's mindset. The majority's mindset makes something true or makes something false. And it, that is, in the crux, the noble truth. Yeah. And that's powerful stuff, man. Because, like, you know, there was, um, there was a gentleman at my church I was talking to. Because, you know, we, we talk a lot about, you know, some of the economic issues and the social yeah. issues. And I mean, he was, um, I can't even remember the scripture right now, but he was referencing how in the Bible there, um, there was a city that was so in tune spiritually, everybody was doing well. Like it wasn't, it was, I mean, from janitors on up, you know what I'm saying? And it's just so, it's so powerful that like we have these examples of when it's done and it's done right, how effective it can be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yet we still let the outside voices of whatever they are, you know, doubt, insecurity. Because, um, I mean, we all wrestle with them to an extent. But yeah. it's, it's, it's what do we allow to own us? Yes. You know, am I, am I going <laughs> to allow this, this thought of, of success to own me? Or, you know, what, what's... Or this yeah, yeah. thought of doubt. Like, thought of worry, thought of fear. Thought, yeah. So many people have a fear of criticism down there. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. It, man, I know people who got products for sale. And I'm like, Yo, you gotta post the product so people can buy it. They're like, oh no, it's not ready. Like, they're, they're really like, <laughs> you know, I'm just like working with them. Yeah. But they fear success. Man. And if that's you, and that if that right there just click for you, 929-358-5185 at Noble Truth Project, right? www.noblethruthproject.com. There are some people who are afraid to truly be successful. Yeah. They have the talent, they have the, they have the passion, they have everything to do it. It's just a barrier, there's a fear of doubt, there's a fear of criticism. So many people are scared about what other people think. They don't even do what the spirit is telling them to do. Yeah. Like, because we have free will, we have the power to discern. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people are using that discernment in a negative way. They're stopping their blessings from coming. Yeah. And it amazes me that people have amazing things, great things. I'm not the best yoga instructor at all. However, I told you guys two times, and I'm telling you three times, this Saturday, July 20th, you know, 10 a.m., 1536, Route David Avenue, at the Take Us On Event, right? It's called Rhythm and Breathe. Yoga, 10 a.m., this Saturday, July 20th. I will tell you, I will tell you, there's so many yoga instructors who I know who won't do that. Yeah. And they're way better than me. <laughs> so it's like, you sell yourself or you sell yourself short. There's way more people who have so many great businesses. And they don't, you know. I mean, you, you think about it, right? The, the people with the biggest platforms, what do you hear them say every 30 seconds? Themselves something. Themselves selling, something. Selling, selling. selling something. Subscribe. Yeah. You know, like. like comment <laughs> you know they're youtube man the biggest platforms they got fire content they'll say that thing every chance they get subscribe like comment yeah let us know what you think yeah why is what you think so important 
because it allows them to gauge their success. Subconscious mind, man. Yeah. It's about if you hear something. See, this is why I'm saying the five senses are important. This yeah. is why I'm talking about who you are and where you are. Yeah. So who you are, you have five physical senses. If you're hearing something, right, if you're seeing the words on the bottom, that means you're seeing it, hearing it. There's so many of your senses being actualized yeah. around this message that that message is getting ingrained into your subconscious mind. I know the radio stations that when you get in a car accident, I know exactly like three people who to call because the jingles are in my mind. Yeah. I don't like the song. One call? <laughs> you, don't even gotta, you don't even gotta like the songs on the radio right now, but if you keep hearing it, you'll know every word yeah. because that's how your brain, that's how your subconscious mind works. What I'm saying is we have to be mindful about what we're allowing in. Yeah, very true. You have to allow in success, Yeah. right? You cannot allow in the fear of success. So this, this notion of subconscious mind and what they're doing by telling you to subscribe, because I'm doing it at Noble Truth Project, because yeah. it makes sense. Yeah. If you know the science, if you know that people are hearing, you know that people are, are reading, like you, it makes sense. You have to do it. You, you, you have to do it once you understand who you are. So that also means who your clients are, because they're just like you, human beings, yeah. and where you are. In a, in a physical world with seven universal laws. Yeah. So this is the law of attraction. It's true. So, it's let me, so let me ask you this, right? Because it's there's there's the mindset, right? Mm -hmm. Then there's the application. Mm -hmm. um, but let's talk about the fruits of that application. And when I say fruits, mm -hmm. like yeah. let's talk about. I mean. I see you bringing your beautiful wife. She's here. She's live streaming. She's recording for you. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about how she takes the calls when you call nine two nine. You'll talk to her. You'll be emailing her as well. Absolutely. Yeah, but let's 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 talk about how all these pieces go into play. Because I mean, that family structure is huge. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. when you have two parts that are working independent of one another, when when that I do comes in and they're supposed to be unified. You know what I'm saying? Like, how does her being here, how does that keep this all going? Like, let's just talk about even even that portion of it. Yeah, man, it helps, man. It doesn't have to be, you know, a spouse, you know, was for me. Yeah. And if a spouse is for you, a spouse is for you. Um, it could be through a coach. It could be through a pastor. Um, just having a partner, because there's no such thing as self-made. Yeah. Uh, like Talk about it. Is, there's no such thing as self-made, right? So you have to be giving in order to get. You have to be collaborating, working. Napoleon Hill talks about this. I can't wait to Think and Grow More comes out in December. Follow at Noble Truth so you can purchase for your New Year's resolution this this online, you know, study. Mm -hmm. Deep, intensive study. You know, I'm going to make it a great price point. You're going to have to invest. Think and Grow More around the book Think and Grow Rich. Um, in that, he talks about a mastermind alliance, mastermind team. He says, I don't need to do everything if I got a mastermind. Why am I videotaping? I'm yeah. not a videographer. I'm a motivational speaker, coach, and consultant. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm good at. He's good at videography. Have him videotape. Yeah. And what does it take? What does it cost? What, what am I going to have to do? Because I want the best yeah. to do it. And who, who does the post? I'm not on social media. Like my wife is posting. She's doing the stuff. I'm not. That's not my lane. Yeah. So I stay in my lane, and sometimes to, in order to grow your business, you're going to have to. You're going to have to get out your own way. You're going to have to align yourself with a mastermind team, people who believe in you. Yeah. And then you strengthen them because you believe in them. Yeah. I'm not telling my videographer to only work for me. I'm not telling Mecca to only work for me for social media. No way. Yeah. No way. I want the, This is what they're good at doing, so they yeah. should be able to do it in multiple spaces for multiple people. Um, once you get that mastermind alliance together, the bigger it becomes, the bigger the organization, your dream will become. You got to empower everybody around your team. There's no way you should be doing it by yourself. Yeah. Put somebody on. Yeah. Put a young, you can give somebody $20. I started by giving people like $20. You know, and it was just like, oh man, you don't have to be friends. Let me, let me put some money in your pocket because we're friends. Yeah. Let me do that for you because you're, you're doing some digital stuff for me. Yeah. And eventually, like, man, you, you always consistent, you always pay me. I don't care how much you pay, just keep $20, it's fine, just keep doing it. Yeah. You should be shouting me out. You, like, you have to have a mastermind alliance. That's the only way. Your mastermind alliance is going to challenge you because they're going to expect that you're going to allow them to grow. But not only that, I want you to think about how it might even be just 
$20. But by you giving me $20, what does that do to me? Exactly. Now you're talking about exactly. value. Exactly. You're talking about validation. Exactly. exactly. You know. Man, I have conversations with people I do work with, and I tell them, hey, this is my price, right? I hope yeah. you're not charging other people for it. Like, you need to be charging people more. Yeah. Because I want them to be very successful. Yeah, and it showed them too. I was sometimes, most of the time, in my mastermind team for a few people. Yeah, I was the first client they had because I believed in them. They tell me, "Yeah, I can do it." You know, I know how to do it, and I say, "Okay." Because yeah. once you said that, I was ready to go. So I'm yeah. like, "Let's do it." Yeah, let's do it. Oh man, because of my first time, I don't really charge. You got it. All right, here you go, twenty dollars. Yeah, and now they're like, "Oh wow, I can actually make money." Yeah, by doing what I did as a hobby. Yeah. And that's when I start telling them, right, and I'm pulling this think and grow more philosophy that, oh, yeah. this is not my hobby. This is something I actually enjoy this, doing. This is what God I, gave you to do. This is, this is God, what, this is this it. Is, yeah, this is, because, man, let me tell you, man, and I keep sharing this story, but it, it, it's, it, every time I say it, it inspires me all the more. Like, I remember sitting in there and, uh, and still being over at the DA's office, and I remember, um, you know, when Jamar first came in there and was showing me the impact of my work. You know, he was showing me how to read insights, data analysis, how to make predictions, and really showing me the scope of, of what was going on with the PR work that I was doing. Mm. And I had, I had never, I had never seen that. You know, mm. how did I know I did a good job? Mm. Well, the data, if, yeah, yeah, if if. Mr. Howard or somebody else said I did a good job. But other than that, it was kind of like, well, how do you gauge yourself? And so when I saw those numbers and I saw, you know, I went from, you know, with, with the work that I was putting, I went from reaching 200 to over 18,000 in a really, wow. really short time. Like, I, and that's what I told Jamar. I'm like, bro, you, you validated me in a way that I didn't know how to do, wow. you know? And it helped me to see, okay, I know what I'm doing. I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. And I've got to create an opportunity. Most yeah. people... Uh, this is the truth. This yeah. is the real noble truth. Most people, if you're working at a job corporation, right? I am. Yeah. There's no shame, right? I love it. And to an extent. But what I'm saying to you is, you're being underpaid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I don't, I don't care, right? You will never be paid for what you're truly worth. Yeah. If it's not your own organization or company. You know, or you're not a founding member. Yeah. You know, on board. You're not like really growing beyond the brand with them day. Like if you're not right now, yeah. then you know, nobody is being paid what they're worth. Yeah. You have to know that. You have to know that. Um, and then you got to be okay with it. And I think we live in peace and harmony because people are okay with it, and it's yeah. fine. I'm not telling you not to to not do that. But just understand that if you do, if you're tired of that, if you want more, then you can achieve more. You're being underpaid no matter what you're getting. I promise you that. Yeah. I promise you that. That's a get that's a bona fide noble truth. Yeah. And that's what dawned on you when you saw the data, the spies you said. Yeah. Not necessarily that, but you're saying, Wow, look at the data. Yeah. Look at my impact. Yeah. I am I'm doing amazing. Yeah. Yeah. But then it also changed, right? You take it another a, a step further. It's like, so you make this decision to leave, and it's like, okay, I'm going to take this step on faith. I'm going to see how things go. Right, you come out, and things don't take off like you want them to. And it's yeah. like, L, 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 L. But it's fighting to keep the right mindset. Like, the, the first 90 minutes. Lesson, 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 lesson. Yeah. Not lost. Lesson, 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 yeah. lesson, lesson. But it's like, but then you get that first check. Mm. And it's, it's, you know, however times more than what you were making. Yeah. And you're like, wow. Wow. All praises. Yeah. But you realize yeah. how, how, when, because yeah. here's the thing, man. And when you're out there, it's, it, it's not a, man, oh, you do X, you do X, Y, and Z? All right, man, I'm going to write your check. No, it's, it's, it's really finding the people who, who recognize your value and the impact. Yeah. And, and aligning yourselves and, okay, wow, I can do this for you and get paid for it. Send you on a price. Yeah. But it's like, man, you start to do that and you start to replicate it, and it's like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Like, but it changes the way, it just changes everything. Because I mean, I, I think sometimes, my daughter's 17 months. I think sometimes, mm -hmm. like, like, what is her perception gonna be? Beautiful. You know? Because that's, I'm, I'm just so legacy minded. You know? Like, what, what legacy am I leaving behind? Yeah. You know? And I, I think, especially us as, as black men, 
you know, legacy that we leave behind. I mean, these are these are game changers. These are community yeah. changers. Yeah. You know, I think about uh, what was his name, um, the uh, the young man that gave away that money at, at Morehouse at your alma mater. Oh uh, yeah, right. Yeah, forty million. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, yeah. I've been I've been listening to a lot of his talks. Legacy building, but you understand that those none of those kids were really his kids. That's really legacy building when, yeah. you're, when you're donating for others. When you're yeah. not only your family gonna be okay, you're saying, man, I'm gonna make sure other people's families are okay. Woo! But I mean, yeah, I know, and I, I read a lot of business blogs that were like, oh, he should have did that. These kids are never gonna understand the impact of what oh, he did. Yes, they do. But the That's, crazy yeah. part is, man, the leg up. Because I mean, the way the I see up. it, the way I see it. Even a billionaire son is getting a hand out somewhere. He's getting a hand somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For somebody to say they never got a hand, I, it's laughable. No, yeah. Like at some point, whether yeah. your college is paid off, yeah. Like you, you didn't do it alone. No, you, you. It's never. You're never alone. And it's never. What did you say? It's never self-made. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. never. It's not and by so, default. It's by design. It's just about you. Finding that noble truth, going within, and finding those people, acknowledging those people. You might not have talked to There's some people I haven't talked to in a long time. And I reach back in my phone and I call them and I say, thank you. Yeah. Because they dropped a jewel that I needed. Yeah. And even though we're not cool anymore, I still recognize that they added value yeah. to my own life. There's so many people you're going to interact with. There's so many things, events that are going to happen that are going to allow you to flourish. Yeah. Um, it's not by default, it's by, it's truly yeah. by design. It's about just walking with the faith. Yeah. It's going to take you there, you yeah. know? And you know, I had, um, I had a mentor of mine, um, Tristan Saunders, man, amazing woman, great woman. And I just remember, it's so crazy, but I remember coming out of college, I'm 21, 22 years old, and um, it was right before I started my reporting career. And, uh, she said, look, I know you want to be a reporter, but I, I, I really think you should, you should stick to producing because you're really good at it. And she said, the mm -hmm. way that your mind works, the way that you do things, she said, I could really see you owning a news station mm -hmm. or, um, wow. or a media company. Wow. One day. And she Quite said, like, I really believe. But the, the crazy wow. part, though, was, right, I couldn't even see it then. You know of what course, I'm saying? Of course. I couldn't yeah. see it. I was like, now nah, let me just do this reporting thing. And man, you know, every chance that I get, man, I just let her know I'm just so appreciative and so thankful. Yeah. Because I can point back to the moment wow. where you where you planted that seed by saying those words, because I couldn't see it. And I'm like, no, nah, that's that's so big. Black people don't wow. do stuff like that. That's just my mindset. Yeah. Yeah. You know. At that time. Yeah. Yeah. Not and now. Now. Now it's like. Not now. Not it's now. like so many doors are open. Like. That's what I'm saying. Everybody <laughs> can change. So where you're at right now is not yeah. where you're gonna be unless you choose that. Yeah. Unless you choose that. Um, in order to do this, you're gonna you're gonna have to have thick skin. You're gonna have to have a, a real growth mindset. You're not losing. You're getting lessons. You're just learning and building and growing. Just have faith um, and be persistent. Just don't stop. Yeah. Don't stop feeding your dream. Yeah. I give a a, a, a keynote speech um, about this, and I call it "Your Roots Are Growing." Mm. And and basically, like you can plant the seeds into the soil, right? And you might not see anything for months on end or out, right? You're watering it, you're letting it get light. You're like, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to. Yeah. Why in the world is it not growing? You're not realizing that beneath the surface, yeah. in the soil, the roots are growing. Why yeah. is that important? If the roots aren't there, the roots are what's giving the, the plant nourishment. It's yeah. collecting the wood. It's collecting the fertilizer. Not only that, it's going to keep it strong. Yeah. So if a storm or a tornado comes, that plant's not going to fall. It's not going to break because of the roots. Yeah. So the longer it takes for your roots to grow, just know when it does burst that soil, yeah. it's going to burst beyond measure. You're going to blossom beyond measure. Allow, give yourself time, stay dedicated. Yeah. Your roots are growing right now as you listen to this. Yeah. And if you have that idea of a flower, keep watering. Don't stop. It didn't break the soil how you planned, but I promise you, it will break the soil. It's a universal law. If a seed is in the soil and it is watered in there, it will grow. Yeah. You don't see what's growing. Yeah. You don't see the character that you're obtaining. Yeah. Right? You're not seeing the physical changes. Yeah. Okay, but the mental changes, the emotional changes are, are happening mm. every day as you do that. Mm. So I just encourage you to stay positive, stay in it. Yeah. Get get to a place where you're centered, 
and you start to learn your and discover your own noble truth. Mm -hmm. And if you need help with that, 929-358-5185 at Noble Truth Project or go to the website www.nobletruthproject.com. My brother, hey, I appreciate it. Thank you so much oh, for coming you. in, man, for for sharing so much here on the show. I believe in people, and, man. I believe in you. We're going to have you back, too. Believe that. <laughs> You're going to come back. This We're Saturday back. yoga, guys. Make sure yeah. you come out. So cool. Everybody, man, I appreciate y'all tuning in. This is uh, Beyond the Brand with Dante Absolutely. Carter right here on Hits 92.3. Hey, appreciate y'all tuning in today. Thank you so much. We're rolling out of here, and uh, we'll see you later.